film a little morning routine slash morning vlog for you guys today i did literally wake up not even five minutes ago so i'm still struggling to open my eyes since moving into brayden's family's house i've been having such great sleeps actually but i find it really hard to wake up because we've got these blackout blinds which is like the best thing ever but i wake up so confused because like it's still dark Anyway, I know that it's the morning because Brayden's up getting ready for work and I can hear him getting ready. Um, but he gets up quite early to go to work and I just kind of like doze for a little bit longer to be honest. It's so nice and so comfy in this bed and especially when it's like winter. I just really enjoy just like spending a bit of time just lying here. It is now 6.50 a.m. I do have an alarm set for 7 a.m. but since Brayden just said bye to me and went to work i might as well get up now since i'm awake i've got to admit guys i am not a morning person like i really struggle with the mornings and one thing i find that helps me is like having somewhere i need to be so if i'm going to the gym or something that helps me with getting up otherwise it's so easy to have the mental battle and be like i'm just gonna go back to sleep so i'm gonna go to the gym this morning <laughs> give you guys a little wardrobe update since I never showed you what it was like finished but all of our stuff is now in here my jumpers need to be a little bit refolded but yeah everything's pretty organized we also have a little area here with our vitamins I'm going to take my vitamins right now Brayden and I just did a massive restock of our vitamins on iHerb so I haven't been taking them for quite a while since we like literally had like nothing left so I'm going to try and get back into the habit of taking these every single day I was just gonna go to the gym now, but I think I might make my breakfast and then go to the gym after. I've been doing that lately because half the time I think I'm not hungry and then I get to the gym and I'm like, oh, I really just like need food right now. So I'm gonna do that just so I can have a good session. For breakfast lately, I've been loving having poached eggs. Brayden's family has got me onto that because a few of them have poached eggs. I used to have like fried eggs, but honestly, like, now that I know how to make poached eggs, they're not that hard and I feel like they're quicker and the cleanup's so much easier. When I would do fried eggs, I'd always like wash the pan up by hand because I think it can sometimes get rid of like the stick and obviously putting it through the dishwasher can kind of like slowly give it more wear and tear over time. But I feel like with saucepans, it doesn't really matter as much. So they've got like great saucepans that can go in the dishwasher. So I just do my fried eggs and then I can put them in the dishwasher. I know that's lazy, but I just feel like it's the last thing I feel like doing after eating my breakfast. Like I don't really feel like having to like wash up. Overall, I've just been a fan of the poached eggs. I really like the taste. I really like the cleanup. And I also feel like it's nice not having to use oil because even though I said our frying pans like were non-stick, we still use oil because I swear like the stick is kind of already gone. I do feel like I need to get back into making my cottage cheese scrambled eggs though because my nails when I was doing that was so strong. Like I've never, ever, ever really had strong nails. And I don't know if it's maybe it just increased my calcium intake and that's why my nails were stronger because I don't really like have a lot of dairy in my everyday life. So that could be why, but oh my gosh, like I noticed such a difference, but I just sometimes don't really feel like that because it is quite filling in the morning. So I've just been having poached eggs. Anyway, not that you care. <laughs>
gym. I'm gonna be training alone today. I'm actually really proud of myself for coming on my own recently because I have been training with my friend Jess for like the past few years and I just love training with her so much. It's so nice like having the company. It's like our social time, but also just I love training with her. But recently she's been really busy because she's actually a Pilates instructor and she's picked up a lot of shifts in the morning. So like her schedule's changed a little bit. So I've decided that I'm just gonna go on my own regardless. Like I don't feel anxious about it like I used to, but I just enjoy going with Jess more, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna do that. I do have a program that I follow. This is what I've got on for today. Jess actually writes my program, so that's really helpful. We have hip thrusts, TRX rows, shoulder raises, front squats, ski erg, and suitcase carry. Let's go. workout is done. That felt really good actually. Now I am on my way home and I thought I would stop off and get a coffee. I really like this particular coffee shop and like when I'm driving past sometimes I'll stop in and go and get myself a coffee in the morning or I'll go home and make one. I do actually really love instant coffee as well but like a couple times a week I like to go and get a coffee out so I'm gonna go and do that. just started pouring with rain. Like the vibes are very cozy today. I've just put on this really cozy set. Because the weather is like this, I think it's a really good opportunity to do some scrapbooking and just have a cozy morning because scrapbooking is something I've been wanting to do for ages, specifically for our engagement party photos because we had a guest book at our engagement party and everyone did like little Polaroids, stuck them in and wrote little messages. But we also had a few other things that we wanted to stick in like people filled out a bunch of advice for us on these little like a5 pieces of paper and we got all of our film photos developed and we've got them digitally and we've also got some like physical photos so i thought it'd be fun to be able to stick them in the book and like do a little bit of scrapbooking because there's still a few pages left and i know it's one of those things that if i don't do it soon we'll be on to the next stage of life like the engagement party will be long gone and you know the wedding will be closer so i think Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that this morning. I don't really have too much on, which is nice. I feel like with my nature of work, I go through phases where it's really busy and then it can be a little bit quieter and it's a little bit quieter at the moment, which I'm super grateful for. And sometimes I can feel a little bit guilty about that and feel like I always need to be doing more and more. But I found that I really enjoy like in my spare time doing creative stuff. Doing DIY projects is very fulfilling to me. I've absolutely loved doing all of the DIYs for like the wedding and my birthday's coming up and I'm doing some DIYs for that. Sorry if you can hear that. I don't know if you heard that barking, but Pebbles just got home from the groomers and I think she's very excited to see everyone. <laughs> we'll have to go have a look at her in a minute because she looks so cute when she gets done at the groomers, like her fur's all fluffy. But back to what I was saying, I find that doing DIYs and just kind of crafty projects is a real hobby for me that I've kind of like fallen into recently and I find it very mindful and it's a nice way to like get away from the screen because I spend so much time in front of a computer screen or my phone so it's like a nice way to kind of detox but it also still makes me feel productive because I'm making something that I can enjoy in the future. Anyway my skincare is done if you're interested in my skincare routine lately I've just been using the QV cleanser and then I've been using a vitamin C I've been using this one from Avene which is really really nice I find that like 
by using these products my skin just looks so like bright clear and hydrated in the morning and then I'll go in with like a vitamin C radiance intensive cream and I'll use this as like my moisturizer and yeah, I'm really liking how it's working for my skin. This is a little knit set that I'm wearing, by the way. It's from White Fox. I think it's so cute. I actually got it last year, but I'm pretty sure they still have it in stock now. So if you want to pick anything up, the code is WFL. -er. Okay, so this is what we are working with. This is like the little scrapbook that we did for the engagement party. This is the front cover. And yeah, people have like written things and stuck in photos, but... There's still some more photos in here that we've got printed that I want to stick in. We've also got some cards that maybe I'll cut out, some more stickers, and these are like our wedding prediction cards that people filled out. So I thought it could be cute to decorate this. It's also literally just started bucketing it down outside. So this is very crazy. I'm going to have my coffee and do my scrapbooking on the bed. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. You all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo, give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. Her little haircut. You smell nice. You smell really nice. It's actually a new day now, and I just finished editing the vlog and realized I didn't do an outro, but I wanted to show you how the engagement little scrapbook came along. I've just bought this container for it as like a case just because it is white and I don't want it to get damaged over time. I just got this from the dollar store. It was literally, I think like $2, but it's like the perfect size for it. I genuinely had so much fun doing this and just was very wholesome. By the way, this book is from Kiki K. If any of you are wondering, it is thick and filled to the brim. So <laughs> this is the first page. I went through and cut out all of the film photos we've got developed and stuck them in the book. I won't show you like every single page because obviously like it's quite personal what people wrote but just to give you an idea i have people's polaroids in there some digital photos i've cut out their messages messages from their cards and that pretty much continues for a while and then we get to the wedding predictions that people made i just like stuck all of them in as well as some cards some of them i stuck in like fully and then i cut out like extracts of some cards as well i filled out any of like the blank spaces with stickers and then with any like photos that i had remaining that didn't fit on the page i just popped in here i filled out the space very well and i think this is going to be such like a nice memory to look back on but i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog i know that it was a little bit of a shorter one but i feel like it was just super cozy my next few vlogs i'm so excited for because they're going to be related to my birthday i've got such a fun birthday event coming up this weekend and then the week after is my actual birthday and i'm going away with brayden so there should be some really fun vlogs coming up so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video bye